Welcome back to Satisfactory, folks. We are over here at the Space Elevator because it is time to unlock tiers 5 and 6. So we are going to load up the Space Elevator with all of the modular frames here. And with the motors, which we got production up and running of in the last episode. And then we will seal it. There we go, and send it. Very nice. Off you go, space elevator. Let's have a look at this. Pow! Off it goes. I love it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Outstanding. Oh, we need to go this way. Because we are going over to our hub. And I actually think I'm going to pick it up and move it over to the base. But first, let's have a look here. So, in tier 1, what do we have? We have an alternate for iron ingots. In tier 2, we don't have anything left. In tier 3, we have the rebar gun, which we could easily unlock. Purple shards, which we could easily unlock, and the alternate for quick wire, which we could also unlock. Then we have in tier 4, we have explosives. Of course, we need to get explosives. Can't believe I hadn't haven't done that yet. Uh, alternate for encased industrial beams, which we are going to use. Then we have the explorer, which is the quartz. Which we of course also want to unlock and we can do that we're producing everything that we need to do that the medicinal medicinal inhaler, inhaler which we also really want to unlock the alternate for stators which we are not going to use and the alternate for steel screws or screws which i don't think we're going to be using either then we have the new tiers tier five and six so we have oil processing which we can unlock. Very nice. Industrial manufacturing, which we can also unlock. Standing. And Caterium Electronics, which we do need a lot of quick wire for. So we can't quite do that yet. We haven't set up uh, uh, quick wire production yet. Then we have expanded power infrastructure for the fuel uh, generators and conveyor belt Mark 4 and conveyor lift Mark 4 which we are very much looking forward to getting we do need a lot of computers for that and heavy modular frames so we can't do that quite yet then we have the jetpack Ooh, I haven't had the jetpack yet I haven't even tried the jetpack yet I really want to get that but again heavy modular frames and computers not really an option yet the gas mask which would also be nice but again heavy modular frames and computers i'm not sure why uh, gas mask needs heavy modular frames and computers and a motor and motors even but i guess it does and then oh, monorail train says technology i love it so the train station, freight platform, empty platform, railway, electric locomotive, and freight car. Which also takes a lot of heavy modular frames and computers. So yeah, there is a lot of stuff to do here. There is a lot of stuff to do. But we're not going to do that right now. Let's just check. I'm not sure if I'm researching anything right now. Oh, we have a hard drive in here. Let's see what that has for us. So, expanded pocket dimension. That is pretty sweet. Alternate bl blueprint for wire using criterium and an alternate blueprint for wire using iron. I think we'll get the expanded pocket dimension for now. Yeah. And then I think we'll pick up the hub. And we need to empty this out first, don't we? Uh, let's see, where do we have room? There. 
All right. Let's just stick all of this in here. Mm. We have a lot of carapaces. And I'll grab a hundred barrel nuts and take the rest. Stick it over here again. And that will do. I have a purple power slug in there. Alright. Good. So that means that we can pack up the hub and run over to our factory and put it up. And I have been doing a little bit of work in between episodes here up at the next level. So it's a little bit annoying. I thought I could get a wall in there. You can if you stick the wall in before you stick down the mergers or splitters but after you cannot so i'm going to have to tear all that out put in the walls and stick the splitters and mergers in afterwards but that will be a project for later so let's get up here and see what we have so I really like that this is like kind of messy, uh, but in an organized way. I like all of these things going across there. It looks nice. And I like these things going across as well. I think it looks cool. So let's get up to our level here where we're making motors. And I actually did have a power outage. Uh, so I had to build some more coal power plants over there behind the space elevator there's quite a lot now uh, let's have a look at a power pole come on so we have a capacity of 2150 megawatts now before we had 1400 so yeah i have added a little bit of capacity there and all from coal but soon coal will be ancient history and we will be moving over to fuel instead in here in this room that i've made we will have the storage area so this is this whole area will be for our per personal storage and out here i have made a little balcony of sorts because the because junior he comes flying over here and kind of intersects the corner so we'll have a little hole here but that is a perfect place to put our uh, hub so let's put down the hub uh, we'll put it down i think here will work yeah perfect perfect placing Okay, and that means that we can now look at unlocking some tiers. I think I want to do oil processing, but we need to make a lot of cable to do that. I haven't set up that production yet. So you know what? In here... Because we had what 300 and something wire left over from our was it stator production i think or rotor production i don't remember but from one of them at least we have 300 wire left over so i think we'll make wire and cable for personal use here with that with that yeah let's do that so we need to go to production. We just need constructors for that. And I guess that's it for now. So how many do we want to make? So if let's see if we have 300, let's just stick a constructor down and say wire. So 
15 per minute makes 40, 50, 15 copper ingots per minute makes 45 wire, but we are already have the wire, right? We actually just need to make cables. So 30 wire per minute makes 15 cables per minute. So if we put down 10, that would be 150 cables per minute. I don't think we need that much. I think we'll make do with five and then have wire, the overflow of wire for our own personal wire usage and the cables also. Yeah, so we need five of these. So let's put down a splitter. Yeah, splitters on this side. And we'll have the input coming this way. Uh, three, four, and five. And then the constructors. Like so why isn't it lining up there and there'll be a little bit of space in between them but i'm perfectly okay with that because yeah doesn't matter and five all right Good. And splitters, or mergers, sorry. And we will have the output coming over this way. Well, there, 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 and there. All right. So. Let's do this. Actually, we need to get, let's just put the conveyor belts on zero and get this hooked in. Come on, I want you hook in there. And the last two. Get those done there. And there. All right. I don't suppose we have room for power poles here, do we? Oh, yeah, we do, because we have a little space in between. So we'll put a power pole there. And a power pole here. And one down at the end, like so. And there. And hook these in. Good. And then we should configure these so I don't forget when I forget configuring them as you were standing there all excited stuff is going to be made now yay and then no it's not gonna be made now because you didn't configure the machine dummy and that's annoying all right almost there this was actually pretty easy and it will be very very useful to have there and there and we actually have room for a production line of something else here as well though i'm not sure i want to do that we'll see we'll see okay so now we just need to get the wire up here let's see where is oh it's one two three on the fourth one that we wanted to come up all right so 
let's go downstairs and get that hooked up here so it's this one and that needs to be a conveyor wall uh, I think we'll just do a single and we have the wire right there what's the other thing that we have here it's uh, is it rods I think it's rods or pipes I'm not sure let's pull it out and see Go. Rods. No pipes. That's pipes. Okay. Alright, so we need this to get going. And I think we'll pull it down to the floor. Here. And then we'll just come along. Uh, is this straight or is this straight? I think this is straight. Right? Yeah, that's straight. Okay. Out a bit further. And let's open this up and stick down a foundation here. So we can see what we're doing. And we will come up with our lift here. I think that's the height that I want. Tear that out and stick in a wall again. There we go. And come over here and in there. Right. So we are almost producing cables now. So that is something that I won't have to be ha handcrafting anymore because I've been handcrafting a lot of cables. <clears throat> and that's going to be really nice not to have to do that anymore. So you just come into there. And we should have cable production. No power. Why don't you have power? Oh, I didn't hook it up, up to over here. Now we have cable production. Yes, indeedy. Fantastic. All right. Then I think Hmm. I'm not really sure how I want to get it over here into storage. What I do know is that we need to make some encased industrial beams. So let's just go do that real quick. Um, not there, there. Uh, we need to make more than 25. We need to go get some more steel plate. Which we don't have stored up anymore. But we will have. Okay. 25 we'll have to do for now. Uh, and actually we need to go get some more steel plate right now. Because we need it for our belts. So let's go grab it right away and have that done luckily it's not too far away and jump up here i hope and just run along oh it's not this floor but we can't it's the bottom floor down here 
Okay. And here we can also just jump along here and get some steel beams. They're called nut plates. There. And we'll just grab some steel plate, steel beam out of the machines here. I didn't get that, did I? Nope. And so let's grab like six stacks or something. We'll see. There. There. And there. All right. So we have some steel beams now. Good. And come in here and hop along again. Could have just run around, I guess, but it's that's a longer way. Oops, a little bit of save lag there. All right. So let's come up here. And hopefully I can make uh, organization. I want to make at least, I guess I want to make three of these. Actually, I just need two right now, but it's nice to be able to make more. So we need, actually we need 45. I only hit click two times. Okay, whoops, not there, there. Encased industrial beams. Let's just go up to 45. We're gonna need them anyway. Almost there. There we go. And then we can put them down over here. So I want one in here. And then I want them over here. Okay, and on this side, we can just pull it out of the wall down in the utility floor and have it going up. We have pipes there, nothing in there. Uh, iron plate, reinforced iron plate, and modular frames. Okay, and over here we have nothing in any of them. Nope. So, do I want this to go down and then come over and go up? I think I do. I think I have an idea. Let's, if we pull this out, uh, that's not the best spot. That is not the best spot. Okay, then we will do something else. You in again, and we'll do it over here. That'll work. And we'll stick in some wall conveyors. on each side I guess and for now we will put in a regular wall here actually let's leave that open for now okay so I think I'll want to pull this back a little bit then it does waste a little bit of space but that's okay I can live with it I can live with it Okay, so we will send the wire back down here and the cable. Uh, where do we want to do that? Suppose here. 
That'll work. Again, actually, I think I want to do... And we want to send the motors down there as well, right? Yeah. Why won't you turn? Turn! Uh, I want you to be face the other way. Come on, face the other way. It just won't do it. That works. That does not. Why not? That'll... Okay, let's try this then. That worked. Okay. And the motors are going... That way. Right? Whoa. Yeah, the motors are going that way. So we will send them out the side. Whoa, almost fell down there. Okay, we need wall conveyors. Whoops. Or conveyor lifts. And we can just jump down here. And I want it to come out this way. There. Actually, do I want walls on this? I could. Now nah, let's leave it. Leave it as it is. All right. So we'll have the conveyor belts come over. We need to go through here somewhere. Somehow. Hmm. How are we going to do this? Let's build these wall conveyors first. Um, so, or not wall conveyors, conveyor lifts. I keep saying wall conveyor conveyors for some reason. Um, this isn't going to be easy actually. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just run up top again real quick. And I think what I'll do is I will move these guys. This doesn't actually need to be three. This needs to be two, right? Yeah, two. So let's do two. There. Come on. There and there. Okay. Move these a little bit closer. Uh, organization, industrial, and Actually, I want it to line up with that, so that's, this is as far up as it goes, so, it'll be there, is that far enough away, I wonder, let's try this, which means that now I can stick this on here, And do something like that. Is that the right height? I think that's the right height. Yeah, it looks like the right height. Okay. So, put in another one there and another one there. Okay. And we'll do this. Not exactly straight, but that's fine. 
it's not something that we'll see very often, right? So we can put in these as well. I think that has to be the height. There. And then we can take these out and put them in again. Because I don't think they're connected to the Vulcan Bear as it is right now. Conveyor lift. Say conveyor lift when you mean conveyor lift, Nog. Okay. So that'll work. And that's all good. Where I suppose the output here is actually right next to the other one. Yeah. So I actually want, let's do this. Down here, I want it to be a double instead. Down at the bottom, I want it to be a double instead. Because there will be one going up and one going down. And you, wall, wall conveyor times two, there, foundation, so that we can see what we're doing, and you will be going up there, and now I can't see what I'm doing over there, uh, let's wait. Uh, what I want to do is this, just to make this conveyor lift go down, go like that, and this one I want to go up, so like that. Okay, that should work. Let's put in this wall again. And hook this up. Hmm. Guess it's there. Yep. Alright, so that's hooked up again. And up here, I will, I guess I'll hook these up. Like so, and like so. so, that's going, and then I will hook this up to there, and this up there, All right, good, actually this doesn't need to be Mark 3 built. It just needs to be Mark 1. So let's switch that. Uh, conveyor lift. View. There. Better. Alright. Back down we go. I suppose we can just jump down here. And we do have them coming out here. This needs to be a zero. There. All right. Good, good. And then we need all of this to come over to these three and go up. Which shouldn't be too big of a problem. Uh, we just need to come up. Actually, what I could do is just not go down so far. That would be an idea, wouldn't it? So four. Ah. Guess we'll have to do this. Uh, is that the right height? Uh, yes, it is. So you will come over this way. Here. 
here, I think. That's straight. Yeah, it's straight. Okay, and you. Come down here. And come across. And where are the motors? They are there, so they will go on the outer one. So I think pick the pull there. Pull there. And a pull there. Is that right? That doesn't look right to me. I suppose it is. Uh, motors is on this belt. They're up one too high, but I'm okay with that down here because this is the utility floor or messy floor or whatever you want to call it. Oops. There. There. And there. There. Then we need to come across here. It's like that. I think that should be straight. Right? No, not at all. Uh, five. There. That should be straight. Yes. And come over to this one. Uh, it's too long. Okay. Oh, it needs to be. Oh, it's here. And so there. That should do it. And there, that we'll get that going once we hook it up upstairs. All right, next one is gonna be here, I think. Yeah, and you come over there, and we're gonna need a conveyor pole here as well. Stick it in there, stick it in there, and that will get that going. And then we just need the motors here, and those we will have come up here, if they can, at that distance they can. And then we will stick in a couple of Conveyor pole stackables here. Okay, we'll put one there. Uh, one there. And one here. And oh, we are almost out of iron plate. Darn it. I am going to have to go get some of that. Which is also something that I need to get over here and stored up. I might as well run over and get some iron plate now. Oh, we need to go down, not up. Luckily, it's not too far away. It is right here. So let's grab some of that. And how many do we have? Uh, probably enough, but let's grab another couple of stacks I think just to be on the safe side there and back over to the utility floor here and get this going the rest of the way there and then it's 
there and there. So, bear belt. We're here. And then we need another pole here. No, not three. We want conveyor belt one. There. There. So that will get the motors flowing up into our personal storage. And if we need them for something, we will siphon off it, I guess. And just have the overflow going in to the personal storage. Oops, I need to hook these off up again. Like so. And we'll put in walls here. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. Actually, can we fit? Uh, hmm. I think I want to do this. So that we have a little pillar here. And we can actually use that if we want stuff to go down to the utility floor from that floor up there. Nice. Okay. So over here, we should now be getting... Yes. We are getting cable. We are getting motors, but we're not getting wire. And we're not getting wire because... I disconnected the wire over here, didn't I? Oh, not over here. Uh, I suppose, do I have a door over there? Yeah, I do. Uh, so, no, the wire is coming along here. We just don't have any overflow, and that makes sense right now. Oh, good. It will be coming eventually. We will be getting wire eventually. And there comes some. And there we go. Wire is coming along as well. Very nice. So, yeah. We are getting stuff stored up here. We have cable now. And tons of it. We have a tiny bit of wire. And quite a few motors cool then we just need to hook these up again as well and then everything is fine and dandy and we even got our hub over here so let's just get all of these exclamation marks removed because they are annoying to look at there. All right. And I suppose if we fire this at the right time, it will go straight up into Junior, who is coming right there. Let's see, does he clip here? No. No, no, no. He goes right above it. Nice. Very nice indeed. All right. But that is all we have time for in this episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.